legend says the world was once divided into two different lands. One realm was ruled by humans, and the other was ruled by demons. One day, six magical stones fell from the sky into the demon's realm. Inscribed on those stones were the crests of fire, earth, air, water, time, and heaven. Soon the demons began to fight over those magical crests, and the realm erupted into civil war. Finally, the red demon defeated all the others, and collected five crests. Not satisfied with the crests of fire, earth, air, water, and time. The red demon challenged the demon dragon for the crest of heaven. After a long and desperate battle, the red demon slayed the dragon and gained the final crest. But the price of victory was high. The red demon was critically wounded. I have defeated the Red Demon. I shall reign supreme. With the power of the Crest. Both the Demon Word and the Human Word are mine.
Well, this is how you begin a game. Just don't mind me, I'm going to go in the options or we're just going to start the intro again. And just that that music this just fits perfectly the melancholy of a demon going on a long and lonely quest to become the more powerful one. Hey everyone, Foxy here. And finally with the first episode of what I was said I was going to call Fox's Classic, where I play good old games so you may want to. Uh, hold on a minute, I kind of feel like I'm uh, infringing on something. I can't, can't, can't quite put my finger on it, but uh, maybe it's just in my mind. So, I haven't really pick this game for any particular reason. I, I could have just spent all day just waiting the options and trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about first. But I got other things to do. And so I just picked up the first idea that came to mind and for some reason it was this game. Demon's Crest, a game from Capcom. So I, I discovered it after playing the original game named Golgo's Quest that was on the Game Boy and just I would recommend you don't check out the old box for the game <laughs> because really it's not that great so th this is the third game in the series of Golgo's Quest there was the first one and the second one and then for some reason rather than calling this game like Golgo's Quest 3 subtitled Demon's Crest we just call it Demon's Crest because what I said would make too much sense, it would be too easy to find the game. So this game, these games are actually a spin-off of a series called Ghost and Goblins, I actually, if I remember correctly, I, I played and finished the first game. It was a wild ride, the game definitely isn't easy, and so in this game you play in one of the, you play one of the main bad characters from the main series, a demon, red demon called Firebrain which, for whatever reason, is green into the, the first Gargoyle Quest art box. So yeah, the, just simply the story as you just saw in the intro is you got the six crests stolen from you and you're just trying to get it back to just turn them into the ultimate crest of like infinity. Firebrand, I don't feel so good. So yeah, I'm going to have uh, multiple things to say about the game and well, yeah, as much as I would want to say good things, there's also going to be a bunch of bad things because sadly this game is pretty good, but there's always something, something that just leaves a bitter taste in your mouth. Like, I, I can just never put my finger on it, but there's something that could, that's just missing. Something that could put the game from just good to a really classic game, so I kind of hope that just putting what I think are uh, just like this into words, maybe I, man I manage to finally figure out what it is that's just not right, but what's for sure is that the atmosphere of the game, the visual and the music are really really good, so we're just going to start for now and uh, I say things as we go. So the game just starts off uh, in the same uh, scene that we saw in the intro. And you just have to fight against an undead dragon. Because yeah, that, that's how you start a game. Is, it, uh, is this Dark Soul? So yeah, that, that's what they just throw at you from the beginning. Luckily, well, this is the first thing, so it's going to be extremely easy. Just jump and shoot. So in, in this game you can just fly and, and shoot things really the, the most basic, so we're gonna let him come down. And that's the entirety of a, a boss fight, like I said, not really difficult, but I still get hit. Just do that for a, for a little bit. It's not really smart enough to figure out that he should not lower his head, but you know, death uh, kind of does a lot to your brain.
this is where we're going to hear more uh, of the game's amazing music. So as soon as we finish with that Gundam Dragon, here's Johnny. I'm going to let you listen to it a little bit. And here we go. So yeah, as you can see, really the, the atmosphere of the game, like visually, is really, really good. The big slot, it's kind of amazing, and the music has really that sad, melancholy tone to it. As you kind of go around, it's just abandoned forest, and you fight against the uh, KKK ghost members. Why not? So there's been a, a few changes in the gameplay compared to the previous game, like for example you have a, this headbutt technique and I just got one thing, just you can get spares, so this is the inventory system of the, of the game, so first you get, you've got multiple uh, attacks that are here, you just start with the basic fire and then there's all the crests that you will get as you progress to the game, then there's just spares and potions that will do things like killing enemies or giving, giving you bonuses or healing and then talisman are just passives if I remember correctly so it's, it's a really cool system the only problem is that every time you want to use something or switch around for example the crest you're going to be coming back to it so th there's some bosses where it's going to be you're going to move around then you're going to want to switch around for an attack then you want to go back again so luckily it's, you don't spend that much time as you see it's rather fast but it could have used like a kind of quick switch system, but I guess not, a, not enough keys on the controller, right? So the game is a pretty classic platformer. I'm doing really bad. No, please, not the KKK! But uh, it's still got some pretty interesting mechanics. And we're going to start with the first uh, mini boss that you just headbutt. Compared to the previous game, like you got less upgrades to do. Like for example, you, uh, as you can see, you start the game with just infinite flight, and you get also uh, climbing onto the wall and wall jumping, which you had to actually get before. And it's kind of a problem because yeah, you start more powerful than the previous games, but they haven't really adapted the level design and difficulty to that. So you, you see uh, a bit later on you can just like fly like this and just bypass the entire level. Which makes the, uh, all the, the level de design kind of pointless and not memorable. And the, the true challenge is really the bosses. Okay, uh, the game gets really easy as you upgrade things. Like you can, you see I have like 5 health, you can get to like 20 and then you, you can triple that. Cool, because sure that's needed. Well, not most of the time it's not needed, but for some of the bosses, like you go from a game that's relatively easy to the true final boss and the hidden boss are extremely difficult, like some of the hardest you ever fight against. Oh well, yeah, also another thing, so yeah, the game is pretty linear, here you just get thrown into the, the level and you have no choice. But there's still a, a bunch of things hidden in the levels, hidden path, and also items. You'll get some upgrades as you progress to the game. And you can just go back through the levels to get some items you might have missed. There'll be uh, a cool little map screen, just... Uh, once we're done with this level, with the incredible mod 7 of the SNES. 
Yeah, that's the thing that's going to happen a, a lot. You just try to hit an enemy and you just can't. And uh, at the very beginning, you can just uh, lower yourself. It'll be an upgrade later on. And so here we go, one of the items. So that's one of the bottles for the potions. The game also has uh, a money system. You see, I got 42 GP. And you'll be able to... Uh, there'll be a hub where you can just go to merchants and, and buy spells and potion. So like that you can always be ready when you, you get into something difficult. You can always just try a little bit and, and prepare. So I don't think that's something secret over there. It's just if you go on to... Yeah, that's just a secret that I, I can't destroy right now. But the broken walls... If you get on it, it's like an enemy. Like that, just spikes. And didn't jump high enough. Okay, so... I've already said uh, a lot of what I wanted to say just within the first, like, 10 minutes. But luckily we're reaching, like, the first kind of real boss. Which is going to be a recurrent enemy throughout the, the entire game. I've watched your progress, and I'm glad that I shall be the... Please keep text. Want to put an end to your petty crusade. I believe you have heard of me. I am Arma. I will be your executioner. Okay, so this guy can be a little bit annoying. This kind of attack, he can just... Come in for an attack and then get out of your way. Ouch. Alright. It's out of reach for now. Also, it's got uh, a bit of invisibility frames. Getting a little bit greedy. I remember. Okay, yeah, thank you, that's there. The first time I played, I actually went on a. On an emulator on a Nintendo DS, oh, of course, no, I, I mean a perfectly legit SNES copy. And for some reason, the uh, glitch emulation made this guy just immortal. Because, yeah, well, why not? If you think you could get away from pirating Nintendo games? Okay, I'm gonna try to focus a little bit in this other way. Well, the way you can see that uh, bosses are taking damage is they, they get more and more red. Here's just slight for now. Okay, can you stop being a prick for a second? Come on, get down from there, thank you. Like that, that's most often the, the efficient technique to play the game. You just uh, get into the boss face and they just spam. <laughs> You do seem to possess the strength people have been talking about. I look forward to our next encounter. And he gives you the first crest. Because it's not entirely a bad guy, he's just there to kind of test you and fight. You have found the crest of Earth. With it, you can morph into G Gargoyle and gain great speed and the strength to break stone statues. The only problem with that one is that you can't fly, so it's not really the biggest use for it. And here you go, so you get an open map like this thanks to a mod 7, and if I check a second, here you go, so you got a map. So as you can see, we were in level number 1, and you can just do it however you want. If you want to go straight to level 4, well, you can, and there's gonna be a few more levels that will appears the progress to the game, but we're just going to go to the main level, which is the town. And this is kind of used as the, the hub for the game. You can kind of just try and headbutt windows around, and that will just give you money. Because, sure, why not? You can even headbutt a skeleton if you want. And if you can.
And so yeah, there's also a few shop around. I don't think I can get to that one yet. No, there's just no way for now. Well, there's a few things here. Uh, how can I just not access it? Oh yeah, you need to, <laughs> to head about the doors. That's how that works. Uh, so I don't entirely remember the things. Welcome to the wise man, a shop of spells. So here you go, you use all of the different spells, but they don't tell you what each spell does. Well, death is pretty obvious, but you kind of need to use things. I don't think I, I really use them. This guy just wasting time. Hey, you! I haven't seen you around here before. Are you a stranger here? No. <laughs> Did you hear that the Red Demon Firebrand escaped from the Colosseum? Yeah, well, that's why I think I've heard about it. Too bad that you know I'm just orange, and not red. You know, I'm not totally not Firebrand. I'm like orange juice red. Haha. <laughs> I heard that the general armor is hunting him down. Oh, this guy is going to have like multiple dialogues and he just talks to you every time. An annoying shit. Uh, I said that the raid demon known as Firebrand has risen. He nearly burned the demon realm to ashes years ago. If Phalax had not rescued us, we'd all be dead thanks to that arrogant fool, Firebrand. Take care of yourself. Yeah, this guy really is clueless. So yeah, for example, I can use the crest here and destroy that statue. Why not? And the guy will have different dialogue for everything. Uh, the general is wearing a uniform, something like yours. I saw him burn and break one of us fountains into pieces once. Yeah, he, he gives a little hints and story as you go. And this got another thing, probably the potion. Shop. Yeah. According to his book, the humans and treasure called a uh, treasures called talisman. There are rumored to be hidden somewhere in this world. The book says that he who is equipped with talisman will gain magical powers. Okay, now you just give a hint. I think the shop up there was uh, the potion shop, and I can't just access it right now. Potion seller. Hi, I'm going into battle, and I'm in need of your strongest potion. So, here we start. We've really done the first level after the introduction, and... Twat? There's the statues here that you can kind of uh, push. Ooh, no, the ghosts! You can kind of push them uh, using the Earth Gargoyle, which uh, is going to allow you to get secret passage just uh, a bit after oh it has to slow down yeah so here we go that's one of uh kind of not entirely linear passages and here this is why you can just kind of start with like the flying and just find ways to chip everything because you know we're, we're not here to actually play the game now are we <laughs> There you go, they try sometimes to put some little resistance in your, in your way, but uh, really nothing much. Like I said, the main difficulty is going to be the, the bosses. Try to not get grabbed by those hands. And here we go, we're just done with a level here at the first boss. It's been a while since I... I fought against it, so probably going to have to give it a few shots, but uh, it's not really that bad, bad, as you can just rush through everything. It's really annoying because it backs up and then and this. It just turns around and it's got a pretty good range. Like it can hit you when you're flying over. A special technique, nothing personal kid. There's no need to like use the, the earth gargoyle because god damn it does two da damages like you, you really need to keep moving and go over him if you don't want to get destroyed 
and the gargoyle on the ground can't fly. So, ouch. Uh, I guess I have to give it another shot. Oh no, I'm going to have to do the entire level again. Oh no, such difficulty. Am I ever going to get past this? It's not like it's even continued or alive. No. If I remember correctly too, you can like destroy the scores here and just get those guys pissed off. They just rush you. Oh no. Ouch. Come on. Just let me get out please. Fucking fun gameplay for everyone. Okay, just just take me. Just do, do what you want. Okay, maybe we're just going to switch around and try to rush out, if that's possible. No. Shh, just get! What the hell is this? Okay, jeez, fuck off. I'm going to try to... Uh... Oh yeah, then there's this hand. Oh, really, you, you, you're just not going to give me health. That's just great. Uh, may maybe this here? Really, game? Oh, that's great. We are in G. That's a that's a good beginning. Not really feeling like doing it with just one health, you know. Well, guess I'll uh, I'll just die then. Unless Vellum, uh, I don't actually remember what that one does, so I guess I can just go for it and use it, that's why these things are there. I don't remember you use them, so yeah, I guess I'll just die. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Uh, it's just cool. I just love bosses that have attacks and also contact damage. Jesus. Kind of getting red. Hopefully, I won't even need a safe state. Because it'd be good. And that's done. Good. Wasn't that bad, and you get a, a health upgrade. Nice. And so that's it. You, you just get drawn back to the main quest and the main map, and for now, it's not. Uh, there's no new level for now. So, yeah, that, that's one also. Uh, that's one of the problems. Outside just the main story of just having to get. Uh, the six quests was just really nothing. You just thrown into the game like this. And, uh, there's not really much of a satisfaction. Like I, I just finished the level. I just beat the boss, and that's all. And just game is like, yeah, cool. Just, just keep going now. So we're, we're going to go back to that uh, little side path that was a bit earlier before we go to a new level. I guess I just want it, it's just going to be me playing the game. <laughs> Nothing much else. So here you go, we got the little things. And we get another path. Another thing, uh, I said the music was pretty good, but like honestly, uh, I never really remember much outside of the room, so like the intro in the first level, because like usually I don't play uh, much more. Like the game is interesting, but uh, I don't know, I just don't feel like uh, going much further in the beginning. Cool. Just rather take the damage and to go back into the menu. Yeah, that's some of the fun gameplay. It's like, it's like the candles of Castlevania, it's just... 
they just are at a really annoying point. But you can't hit them without jumping, but if you jump you go too high, so you can't hit them either. And there's just some costs that really don't like the light. So they just go to stop it. But I kinda want to see where I'm going. Okay, so there's an exit here. Oh yeah. And here we go already into another boss. Well, and already I, I'm missing health, so I don't know how good I'm going to do. Oh, nice. Well, there you go. That's one question answered. A really good, memorable boss. Of eye jelly. Okay, so yeah, kind of shoots eyes. Nice. You need to take them out. I think it's free heat each time for them. Okay. Oh, that's an awful placement. No, I don't want. Okay, so we got one. Yeah, this is not going well. I wonder what if I, I use the, the Earth Gargoyle. Will I do more damage? Well, if I can hit them, but sure. No, it's, it doesn't seem like it's doing better. Or, or maybe, I don't, I don't know. It seems to be kind of better than just the previous one. Ouch. Yeah, that's not fair, you can't just go outside like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Sure thing. It's a bit easier to jump on that jelly when you're in this form. Okay. Just gotta be careful that you don't get overrun and take them down. As it goes. Oh, cool. Uh -huh. Nice. Going smoothly for now. Nah. Take that precision. Oh, okay, but now that's a lot of them. Ah, you're not going back before he comes out. They're all out of range. Uh, uh. Come on, just try to come back. No. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, do that if you want, you're going to die the other way. We're all gonna die. Okay. Ah, for the real boss, I guess. Oh boy, he just chases you, huh? Okay, I don't want to know what that is. Ouch. Okay, I don't think I was even close to that, but uh, at least it seems it doesn't have much health after all we've already gone through. And here we go. First try. I'm getting memories from the uh, boss later on in the game. I remember there's like a, a wolf that's really annoying. I don't think I'm going to want to go through that again. You got the piece of the fire quest called Buster. And it makes you feel good. With it you can break through stone. Oh right. So that, that's already one of the shot upgrades and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to like go back to the first level and break some of the walls. 
So here you go, the buster. I don't remember if there's uh, any reason I should go back to fire. But, uh, I guess we'll, uh, we'll see. And uh, as I'm going back through this, uh, I'm kind of starting to get a feeling a little bit for like the reason why I have uh, problems with this game. And when it's kind of like I said, the atmosphere for the game is really amazing. Just the music and uh, the visual, and it's got some uh, interesting uh, mechanics. Pretty uh, in depth, like you, you can really play the game how you want with all the, the upgrades you can get and transformation. And then there's the problem, like I said, about the difficulty be kind of all over the place, level you can just brute force. And the boss has just been the main kind of difficulty. It's just, it kind of feels like a bit like fast food, doesn't it? It's like a, it's pretty fun to play. It's, it's a good game, but for some reason it's, it's not that memorable for some reason. Like the, most of the time the main thing I remember is just uh, the music for this level and the intro. After that it's kind of, mm, like you, you just play and the enemies, the, the, the bosses, mm, the, the level design, uh, so you just don't remember it. Okay, so we got done uh, with the level 2, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll be able to go back, like the, there was a bit of water, you can't go there yet, but you'll uh, you get a water gargoyle upgrade. And now we deal with the forest. And yeah, like I, like I kind of said all year, it's just really the main first level I remember after that. It's kind of, uh, maybe I should play something else, you know. It's not bad, but, hmm. No, thank you. Don't know what these things coming out of the ground are, but uh, I don't want to do anything with that. Oh yeah, and that shot, that upgraded shot allows me to just break the armor on those things. Usually they, uh, they just get pushed back, and you gotta shoot them in the back. Here it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, and here you go, thanks to uh, the shot I already got, uh, I could go through this. But we can go back after we've dealt with the boss. And that boss is basically a representation of, of me yesterday with, with the temperature. Okay, so it's, uh, that's cool, just think I'll just chase you around. Oh, fuck all. Okay. Can you can you even shoot them? Yes you can. Taking way too much damage. Ouch. The thing is, uh, the boss doesn't seem like much for now, but it's, uh, it has a second base for without whatever reason. Good timing on the attack. And here it is. And I only got one health. This is not really the most difficult, so maybe we're going to be lucky enough to ooh, take it down. And I just turn around at the right time.
And here we go, nice. Well, this took a little bit more tries than the previous one. It's kind of a little bit challenging, yeah. And we got the tornado. You got the piece of a fire crest called tornado. Because, of, of course, you know, fire, tornado, it's the same thing. With it, you can jump higher than before. So that's going to allow us to go take the bottle we saw earlier. And also we're going to go check out the random door. I'm actually almost started to, uh, to get into this, but no, this won't be a full playthrough, but come on. How do I do that? Uh, I don't remember how you do this. I'm just going to end up dying here. Yeah, good job. So let's just go check out what that door here is. Oh. And those were actual spikes. <laughs> and not just background elements. Okay, so I restart here now. Yeah, might want to get an actual weapon. Take damage if you're in the watch for too long. The, the side of the spikes here you go was talking about it, and here it goes. So, I'd say maybe before I, I'm almost done here, so let's just go check out the, the last level. Don't quite remember. Oh, yeah, the tower. This one at least looks, uh, looks pretty good. Another spice. And thrusting things. Yeah, that's the other kind of thing. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So I think. You just can't like, uh, stay on the wall here, yeah, you, so that's why you, you need to break those. Just we, we can get something from over there. And that's going to be another boat. Even if uh, uh, maybe I might get access to a potion seller now. Not, not sure, and always go check it out. Uh. But at least that's one of our really good points with the game, just that you, you can do things however you want, and if you don't like a level, you can just go out and do something else, get uh, some better upgrades, and better items before you come back and soon enough you'll be completely broken with way too much health yeah, and they, they do true damage cool I'm just going to go check out if I can get to the potion cellar there's also like a, a few houses uh, here and there, so some are just merchants and some are mini games. Oh, it has been a long time since a customer has visited my shop. Welcome to the shop of a tree over Pedro. We specialize in gaming for demons. This is level one and is easy. You can transfer as far as you please. You seem to be very good at headbots. I want you to test your skills in my humble shop, will you? Well, let's just try it. Yeah, I'm familiar with the rules, just head thing, headbutt things. Uh, gotta get used to uh, the timing again. Well, this, this is the easy version, so... 
Oh, thanks. Thanks. Cool shit. Wait. No. <laughs> the timing for the for this is so bullshit. And they just give me more on the lower level. Oh no, not this one. And uh, apparently I'm done. Wonderful, great, uh, that was a work of art. Here's your prize. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Good, I'm ogre or something. And then there's some other one, like there's two more houses. And there'll be some higher difficulty for, for at least a minigame. But I don't actually remember if you need the a flight, or you can just use the tornado, or, or maybe I think I can just use the not busting to get past the rocks. Yes, I can. The potions are relatively useful, so that's a, a nice thing to always have. Welcome to the Black Lotus. We carry only the finest potion. Do you want my strongest potion, stranger? But too bad, they're too powerful for you. So, once again, you're not told what any of these do. So, how much I, I got? 300, so I guess we'll just take two. Oh no, actually, here I give you. This potion enables you to escape from an enemy. Um, not entirely sure, maybe you can just quit uh, against the boss. This potion enables you to flee from a battle. Like, this. <laughs> they explain you, but it still doesn't make sense. This potion would restore some of your vitality. Yeah, that's simple enough. And then it's just upgrades of the healing. Give you an extra life. Kind of like the Legend of Zelda with a fairy. When you die, you just come back to life, and this potion restores all the vitality. So uh, that's really a, a good thing to do, you just grind and then you get a shitload of potion. And you're just absolutely immortal, you just steamroll everything. So yeah, I think uh, at this point that that's it, it was, it was just me trying to enjoy the game for a little bit. But there's not really any, anything more. But, like, uh, there's multiple endings to the game, I, I don't actually remember how you, you do everything, but... It's all about, like, getting all the bosses, all the, uh, the upgrades, and your reward for getting a better ending is that you get an even harder boss, which is one of the most difficult boss of all time. I, I really recommend you go check out uh, on YouTube, like, a recording on the of a secret boss, it may not look like much, but anyone that's played the game and maybe fought against it will know that this boss is something else, alright? And so yeah, this is going to be the end for the, the first episode of this series. You, uh, you have to say I quite enjoy myself, uh, I decided to risk it and not go with any scripts. I just rolled with it and it will be an interesting training for me to try and, and keep things clear and just talk about everything that I want to talk about while at the same time trying to play the game but I'm sure I'll just wake up tonight uh, in the middle of the night and just tell myself damn it there was that cool thing I wanted to talk about but I didn't and well this is, uh, is kind of reminding me of something like uh, I really started watching YouTube because uh, of uh, a guy who was reviewing game and this this is not exactly the same thing I'm not here to review games just took uh, about uh, some good old games that I enjoy but that's actually how I got uh, starting doing videos in the first place really years ago just just trying to review the, some games so it's kind of funny it feels like uh, I finally got the uh, full circle so yeah, last time I uh, I said this would be the next video, but then I, I still uh, uploaded some other stuff because I, I guess that's just how I work. If I if I get a good idea, I just go straight on it. 
not going to, to force, my, force myself to do something if I don't really feel like doing it right now. And so uh, I guess for that, uh, I might as well go just give a, give a little preview idea of uh, the next thing for this Foxes Classic that uh, will be happening. I still have to figure out for, uh, what games uh, I want to go for, but like from the ideas that I have right now, I was thinking like a, a game from Kona Konami, Dracula X, Round of Blood. I, I actually have a, a really obscure fan-made PC port of it, so it would be pretty quality if I do say so. And uh, I'm also thinking of other games like uh, SCP Containment Bridge. That's uh, that's the one I've been following for for a long time, and as much as I have a hate-love relationship with it, it still holds a special place. And then I'll also be thinking about Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. It would be, uh, I'm sure, a little bit different from this, because it would be less like talking about the, the game itself and more showing things, because I, I have a, a couple hundred hours with this, played the hell out of the game uh, up until Phantom Pain's release. And uh, I sure uh, know my way around the game now, so I'll have to see that next time. I, I think I'm going to keep going on what I have right now, of just kind of one week I try to to just play games, to chill out, and then the next game is more like shit posting. We'll see, but uh, I'll try to to keep it uh, at least one thing per week, even if it's, it's been almost a week right now. And I still got to edit all of this. Shouldn't take too much time. So yeah, that's all for now, and I'm going to end it here as we just take a look at that happy smile on the bat right next to, to the door, on top of the door. And I'll see you later, and make sure to come back, I'm sure I'll have some of my strongest potions.